Hello guys, welcome to a Coaster B overview. Uh, this one was made by Rough Was. I think that's how you say his name, or her, or they. Um, but yeah, this one is uh, Mute City, and I have not seen the results video yet. This is recorded prior, so I do not know what the results are. I will post what the results are on the video right now, and so now you can see what the results are for this. Um, but we're just going to be taking a look at them all, and right off the bat, just from the overview, looks amazing. First thing I really want to look at is this pixel art right here. This pixel art is super cool. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is... Uh, flash? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't want to guess. Uh, I feel like I have no clue. Um, I almost feel like it was Mega Man, but it, it doesn't feel like it's Mega Man. Um, I know it's F-Zero. Custom supports. I love that. Um, love how it's like grinding the gears. That's really cool. But yeah, let's start over here. So we got the Mute City Visitor Center. And the Pit Stop Pizza. Got these really cool arches using the hedges, I think. Yeah, the hedge archway. That's really, really nicely done. Also using the custom text sign. There's like a triangle and borders. Um, I think this entire build was using vanilla as well, which is quite impressive. Um, and yeah, it was. It was only using vanilla. So this is quite impressive. I really like how you used a border, a tire border. Um, and especially for this trim up here, you used a tire border. That's really, really cool. I also like you using these and like sort of industrial, like these adventure pillars for this. I really like that. Um, I also really enjoy how you did this uh, uh, pipe, or not pipe, but uh, exhaust. Wow. Words escape me, but th that is a really cool design. It's made out of discs, a cylinder, uh, and some gear shapes. Um, great use of the gear archway as well. Not many people use it as much as, you know, people should. Um, very cool. I really like that, and I really like how you have... Uh, little billboards here there's like information and a little billboard saying 1800 money with like a little torch burning it up i really like that that's really cool i also like around the entire map you got this nice little border uh this colorful border that's really really cool um i love that little detail um coming over here you got this beautiful little plant and it looks amazing um it is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I also like this little, like, <laughs> this little, uh, drainage, uh, uh, drainage thing. Wow, words are really saving me today. But yeah, I really love these. And how it's sort of just the water's just, like, bursting out. And it's just, it's just really, really cool. I really like that. Um, and then you got Mike's Big Lift. Ooh. I guess this is basically where, uh, Feeling down? We got you. Well, I guess I, maybe I am. Um, the big one. The big lift. I guess it's like a car repair shop? That's really cool. I like that. It's like a really cool car repair shop. Uh, then you got over here, you got the ride, the Neo Falcon. Um, I love the little colors. The colors here are really well done. And great use of the gears as trim or detail here. Um, for this building, and the building shape is really interesting. It's very unique. I don't think I've seen any building that has this sort of weird uh, shape. It's very, very interesting. Um, and I love the little Neo Falcon, Neo Falcon sort of thing. It feels very um, uh, Mute City, I guess? I don't know if that's the right word, but yeah, it, it's very, very cool. Um, I like it a lot. Do you have what it takes? Um, I don't know. Do I? Yeah, I really like that sign. That sign is really, really cool. Um, coming up here, we got a Ferris wheel, or no, I'm sorry, a double Ferris wheel called the Red Turn. Um, and it's really on this really cool and sci-fi building. Um, I got, love how the queue is sort of inside this hangar type building. It's really, really awesome. And I love how you have these really tall lights up here that the, like, the ride goes through. Uh, I think that's just a really cool, like, structural detail. Um, yeah, very, very cool. I also like how you've done these little vents here. The vents are very nice. 
Um, the spaceship I didn't mention, but is also very amazing. Um, it's made out of a uh, bunch of cool stuff. Um, oops, I did not mean to hide the scenery. Um, but it's made out of a roof slope, another roof slope, some cylinders, my borders, a cornice, support sheet, wall lamps, root glass roof. Um, you got pyramids in here, you got some cubes of, of like a wall. You got some like engines back here, which is really cool. I love how you've done this. And the wings are really cool. It feels like something you'd find in Star Wars, um, which I really like. I also love this little sign that says, don't blink. And then you got speed, speed, speed. Uh, that's really cool. It actually feels a lot like a Top Thrill Dragster, really. Um, I would say. I really do feel like it feels like that. Um, come on over here. Keep, like, sort of jumping a little bit everywhere. You got this Welcome to Fabulous Mute City by, oh, ZYZZ Dance King. There we go. That, that's their, uh, Discord name, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I love this little sign. It feels very Vegas y. Um, I don't know if this is a Mute City type thing, um, but it definitely feels very Vegas y. And I love it. Um, you got this nice, like, staircase with these really cool robot arms. Sort of holding it up. Uh, really love that. And I love how it has these support sheets. Um, holding up the whole, like, structure. Very, very cool. And I love how you have the lift in there, too. It really just, I think, really shows a lot of detail. Um, got this nice building in here with a motion simulator called the... Polyhedrion. Um, and I love it. I also love this <laughs> break, uh, run. Saying, show me your moves. I love that. That's really cool. I also like these little control panels everywhere. With, uh, I don't know what these would be. Like machinery or something of that sort. I really like that. Um, I also enjoy how a lot of these buildings are held up by robot arms. Uh, like this building especially, it's like held up by these weird robot arms. And it's this huge, expansive tower, um, holding up the F-Zero custom supports. And this thing is crazy. Like, this is a crazy building. Um, you're using cable brackets as really cool trim. And you're using these cubes, as slowly shrinking as great toppers. Um, great cylinders, great shape. I love that you used pipes as detail for wall. Uh, that's very cool. Um, I also enjoy uh, the chimney use here as uh, window trim. This is just fantastic uh, use of pieces. Um, again, here as well, like cable pieces and hemispheres. It's just amazing use. Um, and again, of course, great pixel art. I love this pixel art a ton. Um, Super, super cool. Again, I don't, I don't know for sure what it is, but yeah, it is very cool. Um, definitely feels like Mega Minion E. Um, coming over here, we come into a sort of more like different themed area. It seems. Um, you got like this orange theme, um, and sort of even different architecture. You got these more pyramid toppers. Um, I guess this is sort of the start of it. But yeah, you got these like pyramid toppers, um, and this really cool detail with these spiral. Uh, cylinders, which I think is tire barriers. Oh, okay, that's a great use. Um, great use of the paper lanterns, and great use of the cable brackets to make pyramids. Um, that's really, really cool. I also like how you put a drop tower in here, so that it actually has a use. Um, and it also comes all the way down to the bottom. It's like a, kind of red, blue, and green. And they got, I guess, maybe like, this is where... The different guests would go, uh, for where they're going to board, maybe? Um, I don't know. I don't know where the green and blue and red come in. Um, but it looks very cool, and I love how you've done this little, uh, cutaway area. Um, it's very nicely done. Um, again, very nice building. You got just some basic walls and windows here. Again, great use of the tire barriers. Uh, also, really cool base, use of the base door to sort of, um, add sort of hallways connections. I really like that idea. Coming over here, we got like a, sort of like a garden look, um, in this area. I feel like this is a lot more like watery, 
garden-like. I really like these candles on this sort of rock work. Um, I think it's very unique, and I like it a lot. Uh, I also really enjoy, starting over here, we got this, like, racetrack going this way. MCM. You got the overpass, big, tasty burgers. And you got this really beautifully done burger. You got used rocks, a hemisphere, some borders, some tires for relish, uh, a rock for cheese, some borders for tomatoes, some monster plants for lettuce, and another border and hemisphere for meat and a bun. That is very good use. Um, and I love how you supported it too with a little uh, sign here. Um, and I, I also... I like how you even have like a, it's like a launch pad, I guess. Um, I guess the ship comes in here and again, a very cool and unique ship. Um, I think these are all from F-Zero. I'm not a hundred percent though. Um, but yeah, this looks super cool. It's very well done using support sheets and cornices. It seems like you're a master at making spaceships, it seems. Um, Eric definitely has a competitor. Um really like this top hat part where the pipe comes out, has a fire on top. Used windows for this whole build and cable corners and windows. Um, use of the great use of the orb lamps and also great use of putting elevators in here so that they can get to the different levels. Um, wonderfully done here. Um, really just adds a lot. I also like this archway area. Just feels, this whole area just feels very sci-fi. And it just really fits. The yellow area really feels like some like electric dome sort of feeling area. And yeah, I really like the electric dome. And especially on the water, it's very unique. Um, great use of the sci-fi pieces. And you make it even a satellite dish. Just connect it on your own sort of piece. Um, great, great, great use. Um, all of all of this, especially using whipped cream as a piece here. Um, this is all very unique, and I love it a lot, and I, actually, great use here for another pole topper as well. Um, another great pole topper, you love using these cable brackets, it seems. Um, and I like, actually, how you've used the pyramids and the cubes to really get that really nice, uh, sci-fi pillar. Uh, that's really, really cool. You got these signs that say, Mute City Motors. You got tube, <laughs> that's really cool. You got a little, uh, like, F-Zero sign. You got 1-800-FIRE, treasure fire, it's treasures on fire. You got Captain's Customs with uh, little flames coming out the top back. That's really cool. Um, you got a try, a falcon punch. Like, all these signs are super creative. You got the Internova, Internova PD. And Mike's Big Lift. Um, I guess you could find all of these little, like, places um, across the whole build. Um, and I really love how much there's, like, you know, you can find. Like, you can find, like, little details like this fence. Um, you've put uh, little splashes over here because the water pipe broke because the coaster's flying through it. Um, which I think is super cool. Um... Got like water spilling, you got baskets trying to catch that water. Uh, that's super amazing. And I also love how you have this uh, Grand Prix uh, go kart here that just sort of goes through the whole area um, right into there, flying that way. Um, and then I really like that. So, yeah, I got the Grand Prix going that way. Um, so, yeah, very, very creative. Love this a lot, and I love how you have little drainage spots. Got some, <laughs> a guy that's dead. Maybe the police department is here. That's what the little banners must be. Um, the overpass burgers, did they get a spot on here? Oh, they didn't get a spot on here. I feel like that's inequality for those advertisers. Um, but yeah, seriously, super cool build. Um, let's take a look at it at night. Wow, this build comes alive. Um, I love the use of lights here for the Vegas sort of style sign. Um, I would have loved if you animated all these signs. I'm curious, is this one animated? Let's find out. 
Um, it looks super cool. I love how you done all the lights here. Um, the red, the orange, the yellow. Oh, it isn't animated. Ah, oh, that's a missed opportunity. That would have been very, very cool. I do like these little lamps here, the sci-fi type lamps. Uh, that's really unique. Um, the ships look amazing. Love the little lighting, landing lights. All that. Um, the blue and the yellow lights throughout the build are just super cool. And the super mount of spotlights make it feel like some crazy sci-fi build, which it is. Um, it's a one amazing sci-fi build. Um, seriously loving and great use of all these lights. Um, and yeah, fantastic build. Um, Let's take a look at these advertisements again. Yeah, I love the way that you've done these advertisements. With all the lanterns. Um, and again, using these Japanese lanterns as, like, little, like, lanterns that sit down on the ground are just... It's really, really unique. Uh, I don't think I've seen anyone do this. Um, and yeah. Fantastic build, my man. Um, or woman. Or they. Fantastic build. Seriously love it. And yeah, if you'd like to check them out, um, the workshop link is down below. And go please check out the Coaster B video for checking out all of the great builds that came out of this. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.